Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for June. This is for June 2020. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Keep in mind this is for June. This is not old energy. This reading is intended to be a preview. This is not something that uh, you have already experienced, okay? So that's what we are intending this reading to be. We are intending this reading to be a future forecast. So we're just going to see what comes up for Capricorn for the month of June. What do we have for Capricorn for June? June. What do we have for Capricorn for June? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And I'm just, I gotta show you this one as well because I, I feel the strong need to. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like this is the card for you. I do. I do. The minute I look down, I say, oh, that's for them. It's worth waiting for. Whatever that you have been waiting for is going to be worth it. Put it that way. It's absolutely going to be worth it. So stay optimistic. Think positive. You may be feeling a little down. You may feel like you're never going to get what you want, but you're basically calling it in right now. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. It is definitely, definitely worth waiting for. So you're, you're doing something right. Put it that way. Um, we're going to get a couple of these. What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, oh we got a couple. We need one more, please. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and well, faith will bring you romance. Now, worth waiting for. Divine timing. Waiting for something. Okay? You could be waiting for a baby. You could be waiting for a husband or a wife or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever it is that you're waiting for. It's coming and it is going to be so worth it. Oh, there it is. Fan. Ooh, there's going to be a celebration in June. Romance, a celebration, a party. You may meet somebody if you're single. If you're single and you're going someplace in June, you may meet this person at a party or a celebration, okay? Or if you are in a coupled relationship, you know, and everything is going good. I don't know why you're watching tarot readings, but there's going to be a celebration. There could be a birth. Um, whatever is happening, your romance is stepping it up to another level in June in some way. It is. It's something to celebrate. June is obviously going to be a good month. What do we got here? Ooh, broken wishbone. <laughs> not good. Wish will not be granted. I wonder what it is. Crib. I knew there was a birth. I knew there was a birth. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Some of you are going to be giving birth. Or there's a conception of a child. Okay. This broken wishbone. I don't know what that is. You know, you got to think positive. Because your thoughts become things. So if you are thinking negative, I feel like that's what that, this must have something to do with. Broken wishbone. Wish will not be granted. What is this about? Let's get a card to go with that. What is this about? What is this broken wish bar, wishbone card? Birth or conception of a child. That is positive. There's going to be a celebration. Some of you are giving birth. It's interesting. And it, and I think it's going to be fine. you got to think positive. Whatever it is, it's worth waiting for. What is this broken wishbone? What is this broken wish? Knight of Pentacles. Now, hard work. Hard work. This is about uh, setting goals. Money. Profit predictable you can't predict it no it's unpredictable this is you can't you, you you can't predict anything no offense we all i mean i think i can right so this is unpredictable you can't this is predictable right but that's not getting you can't predict it now building financial security so that may be your broken wish you know your financial security may not be that's what it is Okay, that's what it is. It's not about this birth. 
It's not about this child or about love, romance. Your broken wish is in regards to your money. Okay, you may you may be looking for more money. Okay, you may be looking for more money. You're looking to, to build up your... Th that's not what is most important here. Okay? So now that we've clarified this card, we're going to put this back in the deck. But that's what this was. This broken wish has to do with money, has to do with finances. It's not... It doesn't have anything to do with your love life or your children. Okay? It has to do with your money. You're probably wanting it all. Who doesn't, right? I mean, who doesn't? Yeah, I want to have the love. I want to have the romance. I want to have the happily ever after. And I really want my bank account to grow as well. I feel like your bank account is going to grow. It's growing right now. Okay, it's growing. But it doesn't happen overnight. Keep plugging. Keep plugging. You're not going to get rich overnight. And you're not going to see a huge increase. Okay? In your finances. Okay, so that's your broken wish. Your wish is in regards to your money, not any of this other stuff. So that's the wish that isn't, you know, if you're, wor if you're thinking, you know, you're going to get rich this month, or you're going to get a big payout. I'm sorry. That doesn't look good. That's where your broken wish bone is at, is in your money arena. Okay, so let's get to business for Capricorn, please. Hangman reverse. So... Hey, man reversed is refusing to go in, struggling to let go, obsessed with the control, not learning lessons, hiding something, missing an opportunity because of ego. So we're having somebody that is, is fighting a change. I won't change. I won't change. I won't change. I won't change. I'm not changing. I'm not changing. So this could be you or somebody else. Somebody is refusing to change, refusing to accept change. Ooh, and maybe that's why there's a loss of money or money isn't coming in or there's a loss of stability, okay? Because if you don't change, if you don't make changes, if you don't change things, then things you can't manifest, okay? Remember I said something about manifesting a minute ago. Something isn't manifesting, and this is about thinking. This is about perspective. The hangman is about perspective. Refusing to see things in a different light. Refusing to get a new perspective. Therefore, you're not manifesting that new opportunity. If you don't change, well, nobody can help you. So this is somebody that is refusing to see something from any other point of view. This is it. This is how I see it. I'm never changing my mind. I'm set in my ways. So you be set in your ways. There's financial loss. There's missing an opportunity. Missing a golden opportunity because of stubbornness. That's exactly what this is. You notice there it is and it's slipping away. So it's like you're losing an opportunity for stability or security because of stubbornness. So something is going on. Nope, nope. This is the way I've always done it. This is the way I'm always going to do it. And I don't give a shit. Well, okay, you can have that attitude. Well, when you don't make any more money or, you're, or, you, don't, or you lose opportunities that could have grown into something big because of your stubbornness, well, someday you're going to change. Um, wow. Unbelievable. The broken wish was about money. And we're talking about money. Because that's what you're wishing for, right? You're wishing for financial security, right? Obviously, that's what we're going on here. Okay? That's what I want. I want financial security. I want stability. I want a good job. I want something that pays me. Um, not, but this is receiving. This is receiving. This is receiving some sort of money. So you're going to be... Re this is enough. Somebody is going to give you something, and it's going to be enough. You are going to have enough. Okay? Enough to take care of your children. Just enough. I feel like it's just enough. I'm overwhelmed. A lot of work. This is burdened. Carrying a heavy weight. Carrying a heavy burden. Holding on. Some, And this is a grudge. I don't know if you're holding on to a grudge or you're holding on to something. doesn't have to be, but this is holding on. This is burdened. This is a heavy weight. Somebody could be burdened by their weight. Okay, this could be weight. But this is also overworked or trying too hard or carrying something that you don't need to carry. You need to let it go. And this is you need to let it go as well. Somebody is trying, and this is trying to prove a point, and this one is too. We got somebody here trying to prove a point. Five of Swords, that is a hurtful energy. Five of Swords is very hurtful. It's defeat. It's surrender. Walk away. Non-negotiable. 
looking out for number one. So it's like we're unwilling to negotiate. Unwilling to negotiate. This is it. Take it or leave it. I'm not changing my mind. I'll let it go. You need to let go of something. You need to let go of something. You need to let go of your old ways. And that is the problem here. That is the biggest problem here. I'm not changing. I, I'm stuck in my stuck in my old ways. That is what we got here. But you're going to be given something because this is given. Six of Pentacles is receiving something. Receiving something. A gift. A generous. This is generosity. Somebody's going to be giving you something. But this is uh, very burdened. Trying to prove something. Trying to prove a point. Seriously. Pushing people away with that behavior. Who wants to be who wants to deal with somebody who is always right? You want to be right always be right or do you want to be happy? This is like it's my way or the highway. Who wants to deal with that person? It's like, you know, nope, that person is so stubborn to hell with it. I don't even want to be around that person. So people are probably go don't even want to be around you. No offense. I'm Capricorn Moon, by the way. As the five of swords just walk, people are probably just walking away. They're like, oh, we got to know it all. The hey man reverse is a know it all. Losing some big opportunities here with the ace of pentacles. That's a huge opportunity being slipping away. It is slipping away because of this, uh, whatever it is that you're holding on to. It's a heaviness, maybe a chip. Somebody may have a chip on their shoulder. Ah. Yeah, they might. They may. Anyhow, this is whole, needing to let go. Seriously needing to let go to receive. Let go of that old mindset to receive. That's what it is. If you want to receive money, if you want to receive a payout, if you want to receive uh, acts of kindness, you, you know, you have to let go of that mindset. There's a lot of worry here. Anxiety. Having a hard time. Worried about the money. Worried, 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 worried. Where's the money going to come from? Where am I going to get this money? Worried. Having a very, very, very hard time. Maybe you're worried about your children. Worried about how you're going to get, how you can take care of your children. You know, very, very worried. So somebody is very, very worried. Worried about the money. But, you know, there's something you need to change. Now, everything is going to be fine. This is, there's happiness here. This is a birth. There's some sort of birth or conception of a child or something like this. This is happiness. This is extreme happiness. This is good health. Free. There's a child. There's a, this, is, this is love. This is being accepted. This is great health. This is bliss. This is positive thinking. Again, think positive. Be positive. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. You have a new beginning here. New life. But there's something you got to let go of. I don't know. Maybe it's a job. Maybe you have a job that is overwhelming you, that's killing you, that's weighing you down. I don't know what it is. There's something you need to let go of. It's something that you are holding on to. Maybe it's heavy weight. Maybe somebody needs to lose weight. I don't know. Whatever this is, it's your health is going to get better as soon as you drop this heavy weight, whether it is your job or your actual weight or a burden, you have to drop something that you are holding on to, to be happy. That is what we got here. Judgment reversed. The straight may be dealing with Leo. We could be dealing with Leo. We got Leo here and Leo here. We also have Scorpio, but that doesn't, and we have Pisces. Um, but this is unhealthy. This is unhealthy. There's a lack of truth. There's a lack of being held accountable. You may be dealing with somebody who doesn't want to be held accountable. There's been some sort of betrayal here. There's been fighting. There's been power struggles because this is power struggles, fighting, a need to walk away. This is the five of swords about walking away. It is, it is. So you have to find your ability to walk away from this thing that is stealing your energy. It is absolutely stealing your energy. Now, the strength card reversed is the un un unable to let go. 
you have to find your strength and your willpower and your discipline to let go. Let go, let go, let, let go. Why are you still hanging on to whatever this is? Let it go. Let it go. You're bringing yourself bad karma. Judgment reverse. That is bad karma. That's poor health. And I do see poor health here. Poor health, poor health, poor health. It's, it's the stress of holding on to it is killing you. Let it go. Whatever this is. You may be feeling guilty. You're not listening. The judgment card reverse is not listening. Not listening to anybody. And that's clear. Very, 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 very clear. Somebody is refusing to listen. It starts right here. It starts right up here. It does. I'm not listening to anybody. You have to listen at some point. Listen to your gut. So it's ignoring your gut. Not answering the higher call. Needing advice but not listening. It's time to move on from that bad choice. When you get the karma or the ju judgment card reversed, it's time to move on from that bad choice and be happy. Stop trying to prove yourself. It's time to surrender, release, and be happy. So there's something you are holding on to that is, that is uh, stalling your own happiness. You have the opportunity to receive happiness. It's like there's happiness here for you if you can change your perspective and let go of whatever it is that you're hanging on to that is hurting you so badly. It's weighing you down. It's overwhelming. It's a baggage. Drop the baggage. But there's a lack of willpower. Right here with the strength card reverse, that's no willpower. Uh, you know, being weak, lack of confidence, feeling inadequate, feeling doubtful, don't, don't believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, then nobody else can believe in you. There's a depression here, okay? There's depression. You should, in order to face your depression, you need to think positive. You need to think positive. You need to replace the negative thinking with the positive thinking and change your your ways, be open to new perspectives. You know, you're dealing with somebody that has that lacks respect for others. The strength card in reverse is somebody that lies next to this judgment reverse. This person is very controlling. They lack respect for others. They don't tell the truth. They um, are very egotistical. You're dealing, oh, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, whoever this person is. This person is, has, has throws tantrums. They're self-righteous. Definitely has a trip a chip on their shoulder. Is jealous, is malicious, uh, controlling, unhealthy, melodramatic, manipulative, throws tantrums, selfish. I don't know, whoever you are dealing with is stealing your energy and, and, and they're lying to you. This is a liar. The Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody who lies. You're definitely dealing with a liar. Very, very, somebody that has a huge chip on their shoulder and they love the power and control that they have over you. And I don't, it doesn't matter what sign this is, but whoever this person is, you need to let them go. They have complete control over you. And they love it. They love it. Anyhow, I feel like in June, you are going to be getting a new perspective. You are. You are. I feel like um, it's difficult. I think it's been difficult. It's been difficult. Um, I feel like you're going to be receiving something else as soon as you let go. As soon as you let go, you're going to receive some sort of payout. And, and you know, karma works in mysterious ways. When you hold on to baggage and stuff that doesn't belong to you, okay, the Ten of Wands, whatever it is, it's a burden or it's a job or it's a weight or it's something that you're hanging on to trying to prove a point of some sort. When you let go of it, and that's bad karma, okay? Holding on to something that you shouldn't be holding on to. You know, it's like the universe sees everything. Everything. So you need to let it go. And, and some, it's like once you let it go, you receive some sort of payout. A reward. A blessing. This is a blessing. 
So a blessing is waiting for you to drop something that you are holding on to that isn't stable, it's not secure, it's not real, it's not real. This person has been causing you sleepless nights or this situation. You've been worried about it, worried about it, worried about it, worried. Let go of it. Stop worrying about it. Just drop it. This is a new beginning where you receive reciprocation with somebody that is, I mean, the six of pentacles is equal give and take. So there is a new opportunity. This is this is something new. There's an opportunity. This is could be a birth or whatever it is. There's a new beginning here. There is. But this new beginning does not come until you drop something that you are holding on to. Good luck.